Well guys, welcome to our bed. This might look very unconventional to do all that, but I sold my desk yesterday. So today, I'm doing all of my work in bed, which honestly I love because I can just throw on the TV for some background noise and sit on a comfy space and just get some work done. Today we are doing a memorial wood burning. It is for my friend Hannah's, friend Hannah's dog that just passed away. It's a St. Bernice mountain dog. I think I'm saying that right. Super cute. Look how cute. Um, I already got it printed out. In my last video I kind of explained how I start these wood burnings. I had to kind of size, proportion it, do all the things to get it ready to transfer over to the wood. I got a larger piece of wood for this dog since it's pretty big. This was kind of like a full body picture, but in my opinion, the face is like the most important part of any dog, so I like to kind of do more headshot portraits than full body portraits because I can really focus on all the details of the face and kind of blur out the body so it really directs you to look at the face of the dog. If there's too much body, you'll just kind of be like all over the place and the composition just isn't really that good, so. That's what I do for pet portraits. Say hi to the people, babe. Hi to the people. <sighs> That's Lance. Lance is working on the bus. Make sure you go follow us our bus channel if you don't already follow it. Size. Hey, guys. Time lapse port. Oh my gosh. This is the worst like phone tripod thing ever. It's not stable at all. But we're gonna make it work. So first I need to obviously sketch this out. Not sketch it out, I'm transferring. That way it looks good and exact. So I taped her down and now I'm going to just be tracing it onto my charcoal transfer paper. This dog is very dark, so I will be using a very, very high heat. This tip is as clean as possible. We will start on seven and see where that gets us. We're gonna start on her ear because that is the darkest part. And this wood is burning super easy, so I'm actually gonna bring her down a little bit so it doesn't burn as quick. Now the reason why it's burning so quick is because the tip is super clean. There's not any like residue on it, so it's not burning through wood that's already on the thing. It's just directly putting all the heat source onto where it touches. And as soon as I kind of get sick of doing one spot, I will jump around. 
kind of keeps my mind fresh. I never just work on one area for a super long amount of time. This is how we are looking so far. As you can see, all of those colors are kind of the same. Well, not colors, all those shades. So it's all pretty dark. And I am going to start doing some of the light parts and find out what shade range I need those in. And then her middle part here is white. So that's going to be like I'm barely burning on it, but it does obviously need something because you don't want it as white as the background. This is my bed set up, have my little bin here, here, this, the wood burning, camera, wood burner right there, and then the tripod right here. So far it's working out really good, but I would take a desk over this. It's so hard to get out of bed once you're in bed, so I feel lazy and my legs feel tired from sitting this way, but we're going to have to make it work for another week, and it's not too bad. I'll probably just end up wood burning in the bus next time. I'm almost done. I'm just finishing up the white fur. Hopefully it's not too glossy. Then I'm gonna be, I'm gonna cut off like an inch from the top because I think that's way too much dead space. But she is cute. I've been having to sand down my tool a lot because this was a big dog and any really dark dog, you're burning a lot of material, so. Dark dogs usually take longer. The longest dogs are like curly haired dogs though. It's a lot of uh, detail you really have to pay attention to. And this one's got some waves in it, so it was a bit more difficult, but at least the waves kind of give it something to focus on. We're so close. And I'm gonna go in and on any parts that kind of looks maybe a little funky or like it doesn't just like flow correctly, I'm going to be adding parts there as well. Sometimes you gotta take a break, step back, and then come back and look at it and assess what needs where. And then at the end I always kind of like to go in and put in like outlines, not complete outlines, but sometimes there's a section that looks a little like it needs like a little suggestion lines, like gesture lines. I mean I've been burning her all day. This dog took a while. Usually they take about like four hours, three hours. Probably been on her for about five hours. I'm gonna let it sit overnight and then trim down the top in the morning. And then in the morning I can see if I need to do any touch-ups to it. Here is a St. Bernese Mountain Dog.
that concludes today's wood burning. Thank you so much for watching and if you like this video there's going to be a ton more like them or other art videos that I know are coming up soon. So make sure you are subscribed to this YouTube channel to see all of those and if you want to get notified all you have to do is click the bell. So click the bell, subscribe, like, comment, and I will see you in the next video.